How's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. Today we're going to be learning about Amazon Web Services. I'm going to be showing you how you can use Amazon Lightsail service to create an instance and also we're going to install Node.js and then we're going to run an Angular project on that and we're going to access it by public IP. So let me explain to you a couple of things that you might don't know about cloud computing. So what happened is when you are done with your application, for example, it's an Angular application. Now you want to upload somewhere where people or your clients or your customers or users of your application would be able to access and use that application. So to do that, we need some sort of service. Usually it's called a cloud. Uh, let's just say Amazon, Google, Azure have their own cloud services. So what cloud basically is, they have a computer running on their uh, on their data centers or their somewhere. Uh, it's it's running in the world, and at, that's connected to internet with static IP address. So when you have a static IP address, that means you are able to access that. IP address anywhere in the world, which means if you run your Angular project on uh, on that IP address, then you would be able to you know access that. So I'm going to be showing you how to create an instance right now. You can see I'm on an Amazon Lightsail website. So basically, you go lightsail.aws.amazon.com, and you got to make sure that you sign into your account and you have a valid uh, billing uh, setup. So here you will go to home page and here you will have a few options, instances, database, networking, storage, snapshots. So what we want to do is we want to create an instance. Instance means there is a computer which we want to create and we want to buy from Amazon. So I'm going to click on create and here I have a few options now. It tells me that you are creating this instance in Sydney zone A. So I'm in Australia. So that means I will creating this instance in Sydney, which is a city in Australia. Also, it says pick your instance image, which means it's basically telling me uh, that what kind of operating system I want to run on my computer. I have two options, Linux slash Unix and we have Microsoft Windows, which is quite uh, quite expensive. Not much expensive, but quite expensive. Um, so we, we will stick to Linux because it's free and it works. So here we have an option for App Plus OS, which means Amazon saying, okay, you want to create a computer and you want to host that computer onto our data centers. So what we can do, we can automatically install these services for you. For example, if you are uh, intended to run WordPress on your instance, then you can simply select WordPress and then it will automatically install. So you don't have to go through all the configurations, which which is pain sometime. Also, we have an option for Node.js. So it says at the bottom, says Node.js powered by Bitnami and sold by Bitrock. It's a pre-configured, ready to run image for running Node.js on Amazon EC2. Node.js is a platform built on Chrome, JavaScript runtime for easy building fast scalable network applications. That's right. So what we want to do is we want to install Node.js and then we want to connect to that computer through uh, IP address and then we can uh, install uh, we can install uh, Angular CLI. Now there's another options. If you go to OS only, so you have these options. You have Amazon Linux, Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, actually, let me just zoom in a bit. So we have Ubuntu 18.04, uh, Debian 8.7, and so on. Usually I select Ubuntu. Now if I select OS only, which means my computer will only have Ubuntu install no other software that means i will have to go and manually install node.js onto a server and then i will have to install any other package for example angular cli so what we want to do is create a ubuntu uh, instance so let's select that and then we go down and here i have an options if i want to add any shell script which means if you want to run anything on the startup you can add a launch script here. You are using SP server SSH key for connecting your instance. So you can even change your uh, SSH key. 
but I'll show you the easy way to connect to it. Next, you're going to have to choose your instance plan, which means you're going to have to decide how much you want to pay for it. So here I have a $3.50, which gives me one vCPU, 20 gig SSD, and then 512 GB transfer. Now, the plan goes all the way to 160, which gives you eight core CPUs, 640 GB SSD, 3.5 TB transfer, which is a lot. So for just this demo, I want to select this $3.50 and then let's go down and then click on create instance. Usually Amazon uh, light cell is pretty fast and they don't take long to create this instance. And now it's saying it's pending. I want to go and refresh the page and let's see if it's done and if it's available. So let me go and refresh and we should see it's running. Now you can definitely use PuTTY or any uh, terminal to connect to it, but we have a simple way to connect to it by just clicking on this uh, box here. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I get the static IP address. So I'm going to go to networking and I want to create a new static IP address. Let me go and delete this. I created this before. So what I'm doing is basically I want to make sure that whatever the IP address I have, it's going to be the same all the time. So if I link my domain name to this IP, I can always go to my website using domain name so it doesn't change. So attaching a static IP replaces that instance dynamic IP, which is which is what I want to do because I don't want to have a dynamic IP address. So I'll just go and create and that will link that to this. So now this is our static IP address. My instance will always have this IP address so I can use this IP to connect to it. So let's go back to the home and click here and that's going to start a new window where we have a SSH connection to our instance on Amazon. Okay, so at this stage we have our Amazon instance running successfully. Now if you want to go and install Node.js or you want to install a Python or whatever you want to install and you want to run the server on port 80, then you will be able to access that through your static IP address. So that is it for this video guys. In the next video we will talk about how we can run Node.js and Angular uh, project on Amazon instance. So we should be able to see that in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.